Hi guys, so today I am going to be um, opening a VM, or well, starting a 1803 VM, because today it loses support, and say hi. Hi. So I have Julia on Discord, and um, so I'm going to be opening this VM, because... Today is the, um... Yes. It 12th. is November 12th. Alright. Did I just see 1809? <laughs> Did I say 1803? I don't know. I think I, it said I couldn't mount something, and I thought I saw 1809, but I couldn't... It said, 18, it, said it couldn't mount 1809. <laughs> 1803, my bad. I probably just read it wrong. Oh, my RAM is really taking a toll. Yes, it is. Because you have 8 gigs of RAM and VMs. Yeah. And you'd need, like, at least 12 or 16 gigs. That would be fine if you're just running... But 16 if you're running, like... So... Yeah. Oof. Why does it keep doing that? I don't even know what we're exactly doing in this video. Yeah, me either. For some reason, my computer is wanting to struggle for some reason. I'm just waiting for this VM to load. Alright. I, I already have a feeling I know what's happening here. Windows update. Oh. oh, that message. You're currently running a version of Windows that's nearing end of support. We recommend you update to the most recent version of Windows 10 now to get the latest features and security improvements. Click that's... learn more. Click learn more. That's just sad. That's Click just sad. Click learn more. I want to see what it does. It's probably just going to tell you how to update to 1909. Probably. Or it's going to bring the support end of support. 13853. What is that? They may just bring up the end of support dates. I guess we'll find out. Yep, it's the Anna support dates page. So it just brings up- scroll down to that. Scroll down and show the date. Yeah, so, right, uh, up, yeah, right here. Is. So, yep. this is sad. So if I do this, it's not on the latest dot number, that's but what I, that's, whatever. That's what, I, that's what I put my computer on, and then I updated it. Because uh, I downloaded it before the patch Tuesday updates came out. Yes, they did release one last update for RS4 today. I, they did. That's uh, no, no. I swear to God, uh -oh. I dis they, I disabled gonna... updates. I disabled updates. Okay. What? Okay. okay. How did it not find it? I have no idea, but whatever. But, uh, yeah. When I checked, it found 1903, so I stopped the update service, and then it, like, stopped, and then it showed 1909. So, this is RS4. In my opinion, it was, it was, it was, what? What did you say? I said, I see broken app icons. Yeah, but in my opinion, RS4 was the best. In my in opinion. Wild. Because it just, for me, it ran really fast, smooth, no issues. But did you ever have issues with like 19H1 or 19H2? Uh, 19H1, there were a few, but like they're minor. And I'm running 1909, so I don't know. Okay. Because I just upgraded today, so, so I don't... So far, I haven't had any issues with 1909. When I open the start menu... For some reason, when I open the start menu, my CPU maxes out on the VM. I don't know why. But, right. uh... So, what do you exactly want to do on here? I don't really know what to do. Just, like, show it, I guess. Like, talk about your favorite features. Talk about your experiences. 
Okay. So... They haven't really changed this all that much. But... Um... I guess right here. So we got, like, Timeline here. That was and, introduced in our sport. Yeah. Honestly, I didn't. I don't really like timeline all that much. They also changed the timeline icon. Um, what, Ta task was, task view icon task to timeline. Task view turned into timeline. And I remember back then when I saw in Julia's older videos, I was like, "Well, that's a glitch." It was not a glitch. It's called they changed the icon. Well, I didn't know they changed the icon until um, RS4 came out. So I thought it was some glitch. Well, Remember Spring Creators Update build 17133? Yeah, I remember that. And, and then, you wanna know how I found out that the update was gonna be called April Update? Um, I was at someone's house working on their computer and I brought that pink HP stream and it, and it was on AU, but I had a USB of 17133, which we thought was gonna be Spring Creators Update. And even though the, like, even though the new version was gonna come out soon, um, and, and I knew that there was a newer one. I just thought I'd update it to 17133 first. So I upgraded to it with the USB I had on me. And then I saw, after it upgraded, welcome to the April update. And I freaked out. I was like, what? No way. It's called the April update? Seriously? What? I'm like, did I just see the new name? Yeah, they did rename it. It was going to be called Spring Creators Update, but they decided to change the name. Thank God they changed it. They were originally going to call it Spring Creators Update, just for your information. Creators Update, it. Fall Creators Update, and Spring but Creators Update? I don't think they changed the name in 17134. I think 17133 and 17134 both had April Update as the name. Because I got that when I updated to 17133. So, I think they changed it a while back, but no one really knew. Um, and they they probably did it because of all the rumors. Probably. But I'll, I'll never forget SCU instead of M2018, no, A2018U, sorry, I'm getting it mixed up. Yeah, people will get it mixed up sometimes. I would call it A2018U or um, AU2.0 or R4. Or RS4, which I, I'm, I just usually just call it RS4, or you could call it 1803, same thing. And and this Microsoft uh, Store icon, it was introduced in FCU, but... Um, it wasn't, they, like, pre-installed. It, yeah, it wasn't pre-installed by default, but RS4 had it pre-installed by default. I remember when I was on FCU, and I was like, I'm not getting the new store icon! And I was like, I, I, I was. So it... Okay, you added me on Twitter of it, and I said, "What? What is that?" <laughs> yeah, I, like, other people were also getting the Microsoft Store update, and I was like, or you were like, "What?" Yeah, because I was like the only one not getting it, but then I realized my install was just corrupted, so I reinstalled Windows. I think it's because. Someone deleted Windows Update on my computer, <coughs> and I didn't know how to get it back then because the file to repair it didn't exist or wasn't created by anyone yet at the time. And I think it's because updates was messed up. I think it was causing the store not to update. So I ended up reinstalling that install. But anyways, are you there? Yes. What else do you want to say? And it looks like they fixed themselves, the icons. Oh, what about that start menu layout? When did that change? Um, this changed in 19H1. But, oh, okay. Because that, that, that start menu layout was from CU and up. And then, CU. like, from CU, FCU, RS4, RS5, and then 19H1, they changed it. Which, in my opinion, I don't like the new one. I like the old one. The new one is more simple. It's there's like not as much. But and show other the, show what you did to your 19H1 start menu. Well, this. 
You made it look like how it used to look. Yeah, because in my opinion, I like this layout more. It to me, it just looks better. But, uh, then Cortana, obviously, mail app, which they brought that in CU. They pinned, yeah, they pinned mail in CU, and then FCU has a people icon. I don't know if this is true, but if you clean install 19H, I heard that the people icon's hidden by the... Is that true? To be honest, I, I kind of think it is. Because I, I don't, like, remember. Because, actually, it's not even pinned by default. Okay, so it isn't pinned by default. I mean, I don't use it, so... Or most people don't use it, so... I wouldn't see an, an, a need to have it pinned by default. Yeah, so I'm glad they kind of unpinned it, because, you, they, because they probably realized, well, no one used it when we had it pinned, so if they want to, they can just show it again, and then they can use it. Yeah, and also, and also look at the scaling in RS4. I don't like that. How it's not like how it's all like squeezed and moved over. That just looks weird. What do you mean squeezed and moved over? Like, do you see how they're not aligned? Like under folders, it's 3D objects isn't right under folders. It's like a little like to the right. Are you saying right here? Yeah. Now they like have it aligned better. Cause um, in, to in, me it looks FCU, aligned. In FCU, they really broke it. It looked even worse. RS4 made it a little better. RS5, I think, either mostly made it better or completely fixed it, or it was 1981. That Are you talking it. about this issue? No, no, I'm talking about... Well, well, that's part of it because the bar isn't as long for the drive, so you can't put as long names. But they fixed it in either RS5 or 19H1, but FCU had it the worst. RS4 fixed it a little bit. I think RS5 completely fixed it. Okay, guys, so I had to stop the recording for a second. You had to fix the resolution. Yeah. It didn't really help all that much. No, I don't want to open that. But, um, I'll just install this. So why are you installing OpenShell? Because this is not due to RS4. Uncheck the classic IE and classic explorer. Yeah, I know. Because then it installed all that extra stupid crap if you don't. Yeah, and since I messed with the scaling, it's going to be blurry, but yeah. That's okay. Honestly, that's a nice start movie. I usually change it to a dark theme. It's honestly not that bad. It's just eh. It's I, I I prefer the Windows 10 start menu, just how it looks. The, the, this one, though, is kind of like how 7 was. Yeah. So if I go to settings... It's basically bringing the 7 start menu back, but it looks a little bit different. Anyways, what else do you want to do with it? Wasn't... Which was it? Was it FCU or RS4 that brought all this? I think FCU. But R RS4 did bring the, the, the fluent in settings. Oh, yeah. They also You're... changed how Windows Update looks because Windows Update practically looks the same on all of them except 19H1 and 19H2. It looks... If I switch to but dark, RS4 and, look. RS4 and RS5 look really similar, except RS5 has dark theme file explorer. So if I go here, I honestly like the dark file explorer. It's better see, on my fluent eyes. there. Yeah, I see it. Fluent just doesn't exist right here, but when I go here, it does. But yeah, did they add fluent to like the taskbar and when you hover on stuff? Are you saying like where it's like blurred? Yeah, hover on settings. You can hover on settings. Hover over settings in the start in the task bar. Is that fluent? Uh, no. I think they added that in RS5. 
actually. Spider 1981, I think, added that. Because I know they added that in one of the versions, but I don't know which one added it. Actually, RTM, I believe, added it. But, I mean, like, more fluent. Not just see-through. I'm talking about fluent. No, it, no, like, when you hover over this, it wasn't see-through. It was, like, Yeah, but it wasn't blurred. fluent. But it wasn't fluent. It was well, kind of similar, but it wasn't the same. Pre-fluent, I guess. I don't know what Microsoft that, did. Not, yeah, RS4, yeah, that's not fluent. They added that in RS5 or 19H1, I believe. Not in RS4. It, it's, it's hard to tell, but... Yeah, it is. I don't exactly know what other features there are. I know this one... Oh, my voice cracked. This one, this one... Um... Also, you... um, I have a computer, like, you know that compact that runs on, that has a single quarter? Well, they changed the CPU instruction set, and now, because it has a single core, it won't even update to RS4. Like, it's stuck on FCU. If you try to update it, it'll just, like, BSOD or freeze, and then it'll um... roll back, and it won't go past FCU, and I've even tried RS5, 19H1, 19H2, I haven't, but it's the same practically. And on, on RS4, you could fresh install it and get through setup, but in RS5 and up, you legit can't even get the Cortana setup. Um. It's like, it, it keeps saying something went wrong, something went wrong. <clears throat> but even when you got to the desktop on RS4, it would be super laggy compared to FCU. Like, RS4 works so bad on that computer. And um, even the higher ones, if you go to audit mode um, from setup, you can get to a desktop, but it would still be really loud. So basically, that's that. Are you ready for some of them? Go ahead. No, are you shutting it down? You'll oh, see. Goodbye, RS4. Goodbye, RS4. You are the best. I will never forget you. Go live a nice life in heaven. Yeah. I will never, never forget it, you. You're deleting it? This makes me sad. It says it'll not delete it from the disc. Goodbye, RS4. Goodbye, RS4. Oh. You were good. You were good. I will always miss you. So, my last words to you, RS4, is... You were the best. In, in my opinion, you were the best. And... Do you have any words for RS4? Goodbye, RS4. You were great. Boop. It's, it's gone. And look, my SSD just did a little boop. The, oh. right, there's RS4. That's RS4, guys. That's RS4. Right, right there. there. That's- Goodbye, that's RS4. really sad. That's just sad. It is sad. Oh, oh, right here, I guess, is RS4 for the CPU, too. But what are you gonna do on RS5, guys? Oh, I'll be happy. You'll be like, delete that VM so fast. Bye, RS5! <laughs> Click! Yeah, I, I- I would do that. I would be like, bye! <laughs> You just be like a Pyrus five, yeah, and then it's gone basically. <laughs> It'd be funny. Okay, yeah. so anyways, guys, I guess that's it. Yeah. If you're still on RS four, even though it was good, you you need to update because it's no longer getting security updates, so you can't stay on it. Yeah, you just you have to update. Because I know some people love it, and you got. And I was talking to someone today, and they said they wanted to stay on RS4 because they liked it. And and I tried to explain to them, look, it supports ending, and that's not safe. And they said, but I have an antivirus. And I said, antiviruses don't patch open exploits. Only updates can do that. So that's why updates are always important for security and to prevent all those viruses and hackers that are out nowadays. So even if you love an OS, if it's out of support. You have to upgrade. Yeah. And 1909 came out today. So yay. <clears throat> yeah, today 1909 came out. So if I open Winver.
you can see 1909 version yeah. 18363, and it says here, but... But down there it doesn't, which is weird. Mine does the same thing. Yeah, whatever. Also, it's still also, the exact same. Yes, they just and also, it. downloading the setup for 19H2 still said 19H1, but when you install it, it's 19H2. It's so bizarre. Yeah. And I woke up today... And opened up my laptop and I saw the date. I was like, oh. Because <laughs> I, cause I was like, oh, RS4 dies today, but 19H2 <coughs> might come at all. Anyways, guys, let's stop the video. Yeah, so uh, see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.